What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I see the title is going down. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. Let's see in the video, y'all. Let's check Rally it out. Rally while she's speaking. After waiting hours for Obama and Bruce Springsteen. This is that uh, that Georgia rally. One rally in an actual swing state. Would you look at this? Look at this. Even so, Obama so, so, still people walking out of her rallies and stuff like that. This is this is the second one tonight, y'all. First it was in Houston, now it's in Atlanta. as well. Like, what the hell's wrong with her? Even Obama's like, what the hell is wrong with this lady? What, what, like, I can't believe this is actually happening, Obama says. Like, oh, no, this is going to be my legacy. Vice President Kamala Harris brought in some of the biggest political entertainment superstars in the world to rally in Georgia. After hours of waiting in line and standing in the sun, hundreds of fans just headed for the exit while she started <laughs> speaking. Harris mm. appeared on stage with uh, Barack Obama for the first time in the 2024 campaign season uh, in Atlanta. The, uh, a win in Georgia is critical for Kamala Harris's path to the election. After Obama spoke, Harris took the stage, but her usual walk-on song didn't play, leaving the 60-year-old to enter without the same energy as her other rallies. Oh, no, that's pretty embarrassing. Uh, here, have a look at that. You know what? I've been, I've been, uh, I'm going to say this and I'm going to play this video. I've been, uh, I grew up in a, you know, y'all know, I, I grew up around a Democratic family. They still are Democrats and love, they, they love Kamala. I don't know. I please don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even talk about it, you know, no more. I, I, I let it go. <sighs> Anyways, I've been seeing Obama, his family and stuff like that. My family would always, you know, Obama this, Obama that. This, that, and the other. Out of all the times I've seen Obama, I've never seen this man this stressed before. You can tell when a person is like stressed, like the way that he said the next president, bro, is literally like, I don't know. I actually don't know if she's going to be like, you know how somebody looks like, look, check it out. He's not sure. He mad. <laughs> so, so I think she was waiting on the music to like cue. Like, I think, I think she was just waiting on her to like, where's the music? Where's the music? Where's the music, y'all? Where's the music at? Y'all gonna play the music? And then she like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna just go out here and smell. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> like fans watching their home team humiliatingly lose, everybody at Kamala Harris's rally promptly left as soon as she took the stage after Bruce Springsteen ended. Look at this. A little scant there, isn't it? Long line of people leaving. Dang. To have bro. a line like that of people leaving, that's wild. You've got to have dozens and dozens of people who are leaving at the same time. I can't Maybe say hundreds. I'm surprised. It's a. It's kind of a shock that uh, they didn't leave for the uh, Tilda Swinton concert. Bro, what? Because Bruce Springsteen, aka Tilda Swinton, uh, played quite a banger. Kamala Harris's uh, music didn't play, but you know what? <laughs> It could have been worse. It, it could have been worse. You could have had this song a actually play instead of just no music at all. Carving you up all right. Say you gotta stay hungry. What the hell? Yeah, bro, I ain't about to sit there and listen to that and risk, my, risk me getting copyrighted from this. Here trying to write this book. I need a love reaction. I feel like she I feel like it's one of those things like trying too hard. I feel like she didn't got so much like backlash, like so many, so many things to talk about. Oh, she had Megan Thee Stallion twerking at her concert. She had this, she had that. Oh, she had Beyonce Freedom. Oh, we need to throw somebody in there that's going with a guitar and with a you know, it's like that. You know what I mean? It's trying to make everything diverse. Like it, it's it's that. And then they wanted then Barack Obama wanna sit there and say, When do we come so divided? This is the problem right here. This is literally the problem when you try too hard with stuff. You, she, I, I, fi I find that, you know, it, it, she's trying too hard. You know what I mean? The team is trying too hard. Administration, they're trying too hard. 
oh, we had Megan Thee Stallion. We had all, you know, these black folks coming up here and doing this and doing that. We need to throw somebody so they can stop saying this. stuff. This is honestly how I look at things. When I see stuff like this, this is how I look at it. Honestly. The crowd is not hype. It's not there. And they obviously see that and they know that. Now, baby, give me just one. But then again, I can care less because... Again, we talking about combo. You can't start a fire. Bro, you're not about to give me copyrighted, bro. I'm not going for that. Really tough. This is a tough look for Tilda Swinton. This is the look of somebody who is clinically. I'm wondering if Tim Walsh was there. He honestly probably would have loved this, y'all. Like, I'm not even going. Low I'm not even going to lie. Wrong. That's what it is. He probably would love it. Clinically low T. Bruce Springsteen. I'm talking about the rally, YouTube. I'm talking about the rally. So don't oh, so you're a man's man. No, man. That's what it looks like when you don't have any testosterone. Uh, this is what it looks like when you don't have any actual real fans. When you have to pack it in. Instead of the people who show up for Trump, where it looks like that, it looks like this, right? Instead of this, this is these is real love. These are real fans. Facts. This is what it looks like when you when people aren't actually there for you. They're there to see the celebrities. They're there to see uh, low testosterone Tilda Swinton. Man, uh, not the first time, by the way, that Kamala Harris has brought <laughs> Grammy Award winning artists on stage to um, destroy all of our ears. Worse than her cackle could. Uh, this is a um, performance, I guess. You it's another one? That, uh, that's supposed to help Kamala Harris. This was given in Wisconsin. Yes, we'll rally round the flag, y'all. We'll rally once again. Shout in the back. If, they, if she was going to do this, she honestly could have asked me to go and, and like, pay me to do this. I would have, hey, <laughs> I'm lying. But I'm just saying, like, honestly, this is somebody for real, like, this, this is not. I can't even listen to that, bro. Like I ain't trying to be mean or like nothing like that. But bro can't sing, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be that friend. I'm gonna be that friend. I'm not about to let. I'm not about to let one of my buddies like try, you know, to. Oh yeah, man, you killed. I'm not. I'm not one of those people. I'm gonna let you know, like, bro, that 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 sucks. I'm gonna let you know, like, I'm literally gonna be like, bro, that is not good, bro. I'm sorry, and I I love to be that friend because there's a lot of people that sit there faking, like, bro, that sound good. Like, there's a lot of rappers here. I, I, it's a lot of rappers everywhere The honestly rappers, singers All that And I feel like they Like they friends and stuff like that's trying to come up Like and don't get me wrong like follow y'all dreams Change y'all dreams whatever y'all want to do um, Cause if you put your mind to it just like that person singing, Get some singing classes like you can learn how to sing But this is a simple fact like If you can't Sing and it sounds bad I'm gonna let you know It sounds horrible Bro, that sounds horrible, bro. I don't want you to go out there and looking like a fool. And how I know that is because we looking at this and Benny is showing thousands of people and I'm showing thousands of people. I don't know. Our team, I'm putting together a team of the single worst musicians in history. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump's putting together uh, ads based on Barack Obama's comments at last night's disaster of a Kamala rally. Folks here in Georgia and across the country, are struggling to pay the bills. We all know the price of everything from housing to health care to groceries is still too high. And it hurts. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. <laughs> nobody cares, like nobody cares what what he has to say, bro. Like, not Trump, obviously, y'all, so don't sit there and try to switch my words around. But if you check this video out of Brock talking, the person behind him is yawning like they're ready for it to be over. Check it out, top right at last night's disaster of a Kamala rally. Folks here in Georgia and across the country are struggling to pay the bills. We all know Check the it out price right of everything from housing to health care to groceries is still too high. And it hurts. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. That's lit. That's lit. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe button. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. My allergies is killing me right now and I want to be sneezing in the mic. So definitely much love to everybody. Um, two videos that was dropped tonight. So make sure y'all check out both if y'all haven't. Catch y'all next one.